Hey y'all, I'm Jen and this is Sassy Southern Insta Girl and this is hashtag Faith Filled Collaging 2024 um, hashtag Scripture Sunday 24 <clears throat> So I'm going to combine this because I'm really late and it's almost time to do May <laughs> So I'm going to combine this into my Scripture Sunday for this week um, and this is an open collaboration hosted by Angela at Junk Journal Junction and Anna G at Making Joyful Journals. Um, and once a month, um, they post, I think it's the first Wednesday, yeah, the first Wednesday of the month. Um, and we do a faith-filled collage. Um, just as a recap, I did make this book that I um, am using for this. Um, and this is just a flip of what I've done so far with the prompts. Um, and so now we're on April, um, which the colors are white and or copper. Um, hang on, because I took the top, I folded the top part down so I could see what I was doing. And so um, the texture is paint. Paper one is a children's book page. Paper two is coffee dyed paper. The Bible verse is Psalm 1611, and the focal image is praying hands. And so, um, this is what I'm going to do for this one. Um, so, I do have some coffee slash tea dyed paper that I made. Um, I wasn't going to do the coffee dyed paper because the smell really does make me sick, y'all. Um, but it wasn't dar as dark as I wanted it with the tea. So I ended up having to do some coffee. Um, and this one ripped, so I'm just gonna use this one. Um, I'm actually just gonna use a piece of it and I'll save the other piece for something else. Um, but, um, cause I thought what, I, what my thought process was, I could leave some of this white showing for the white um, in the colors. And then, um, for the copper, I found this. It's a metallic sticky paper that I bought when I was in Germany. And so I thought I would use a piece of this as well as some of this um, children's book page from one of the Peanuts books I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, and then I have this with Psalm 1611 on it and it kind of has a coppery look to it. So I thought I would use that as well, probably over here. Um, I also have some copper paint, coppery color. I don't know if it's actually copper, but it looks copper to me. Um, this one here. So I'm going to use that. This is probably actually not copper, but it's probably more like rose gold, but it's as close as I could get. So I'm going to use this one. I think this is more copper because copper is like a penny. So I think more that color. And then I have cut out, fussy cut these praying hands. Um, that Marianne and, or, well, not Marianne, I'm so sorry, Angela <laughs> and Anna G shared with us. They made some free printables. So those are going to be that. So what I'm going to do is kind of just measure out where I want to trim this. And I'm just going to trim it a little bit inside of that line. And I'm not sure what this is here. It's not a stain or anything. I think it's just a discoloration of the paper. And so I'm gonna cover that up with something. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. And see this top part here isn't even sticky. It's only from like here down. So I think what I'm gonna do is just it's kind of see-through which is kind of cool i can see my hand through it i don't know if you guys can see my hand through that but anyway <laughs> oh no <laughs> it's real sticky all right so we're gonna put it down here at the bottom and then i will just trim off this piece that doesn't stick or we can maybe oh no oh no oh no Oh, thankfully it's peeling up pretty good because I messed up. 
palette. I should have pulled off a little bit at a time, clearly. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay. Let's just <laughs> try to gently do this so we don't have that issue again. With the, okay, good, there. Okay. Perfect. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to leave it cause just because it's kind of fun to flip it up. <laughs> and I'm going to see what part do I want to use. I think I'm just going to kind of trim this down. And I'm just going to. Put that there and then it will kind of actually be a non-issue because this is going to be glued down on top of it so it's really not going to matter but I want to cover that up. And then this top part My little, let's see if this will, oops, don't it, it's there. Okay, so I'm gonna glue that down on there. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Uh, we went to church this morning and, or yeah, this morning. <laughs> um, and then we ran a few errands um, and I've just been uh, doing some, how to do some laundry and cleaned up the kitchen a little bit and made dinner. And I'm trying to finish up a couple of projects that I need to do. Um, I have to actually fold the laundry and hang up laundry and stuff as well. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a lot. You guys, there's just not enough hours in the day and the weekend goes so fast. It's just a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot. Yesterday, I spent some time with my youngest son. We went and ran some errands and we got lunch and then he cut the grass and chilled with my husband a little bit because he's been gone for two weeks and he's finally back and I talked to my sister my youngest sister so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna glue this down and then I'm gonna put some paint on it and then I'll start gluing the other stuff. Um, but while I'm doing this, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about Psalms 16.9. So it says, you will show me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Um, and I picked this particular image because it kind of has the coppery, darker colors that I thought would, I mean, the the book page kind of doesn't go, but that's okay. That's the only, that's the only book, children's book I have anymore because we got rid of most of my kids' books um, when we moved from Maryland to Germany because it's just so heavy carrying all those books every time we move. And we have a weight limit. And so that was one of the things that had to go. I kept some of them that... Um, like we're sentimental or special, but other than that, we kind of had to get rid of them. So I just kind of donated them or gave them away to people to come pick up. But um, this is the closing segment of um, David's praise in Psalms. Um, 
he's expressing joy in believing that not even death will separate him from the fellowship with the Lord. Um, he will survive death and enjoy unending pleasure in the Lord's presence. And although these verses have application to David, um, they also kind of foreshadow Jesus's resurrection from the grave. Um, and so David thanks God for showing him the way of life that leads to heaven. Um, it's a place of fullness of joy and unending delights. The greatest joy comes from our being in Jesus' presence, right? And um, and so, you know, at the right hand of the Father is, you know, positive things. And And so I feel like this is, you know, David kind of celebrating his relationship with the Lord. Um, you know, God's always with us and, and that, you know, that can give us a, a feeling of security and, and peace and happiness because we know that no matter what happens to us here on this earth, you know, one day we're going to be with Jesus and we're not going to have to deal with these um, trials that we have here on earth and so I really love this verse I think it's it's a reminder that you know only through Christ are we going to find true joy and fulfillment and even though sometimes it's hard to remember that when you're going through trials and tribulations and you know we're in when we shouldn't <laughs> there is a peace to be found in Christ I don't want to cover up much of the paper, but I just kind of want to, you know, because I want the, the, oopsie, because I want the, um, the vintage -y look of the coffee and tea dab paper because I use both. Alright, I guess this is kind of coppery. I think this one would be more like a sunflower. I love metallics and glitters and so I think what I'm gonna do is kind of like where I'm putting this is kind of dumb because that's going to just be covered up. But what I was going to do, maybe just put a little here and a little here. And then I think I'm going to put, I'm going to put these praying hands together because they're supposed to be the focal point, what we're supposed to focus on. But it's kind of hard to do in this little book that I made because it's so small, it's kind of hard to... All right, let's see. That's gonna be, okay, yeah. That's kind of what I was going for, sort of. I don't know, what do y'all, how do you guys interpret Psalms. I kind of do research and look at different references and stuff when I'm trying to um, understand and sometimes it's um, like my interpretation may change over time because I, you know, as you read and reread and 
pray and and ask for you know guidance and wisdom from the Lord, you begin to see things a little bit differently. And yes, I'm putting this down on wet paint. I didn't even rip. <laughs> I didn't even think about it as I'm just sitting here doing this. I'm not even realizing that the paint's probably still wet. It's okay though, because I want to add a little bit more. I kind of outline over here and like kind of go onto the paper a little bit. is so weird because it's um it's not a true watercolor it's a it's water based which I don't exactly know what that means I think I've said that before use them on flowers coloring books resin embellishments and more activate with water and apply with brush or calligraphy nib so I guess you could even do, um, this is by Primo, by the way. I've had this thing for a million years. Obviously, not literally, but. I don't really know what I was doing up there, y'all. So it's just going to have to. be what it is I guess I think that's enough paint it's probably too much really <laughs> especially right there okay so I'm gonna have to let that part dry and then what else am I supposed to put on oh the the praying hands so I'm thinking we could do one here and one here like one above the other and Honestly, normally I would probably add some more stuff to it. That's not a prompt, but since I'm running short on time today, I'm going to just use the, what the prompts were. Honestly, I'm kind of, I don't like to be rushed on it like I am because I like to kind of, I'm going to try to take my time more with um, next month and actually sit down and do it ahead of time. But I did have most of this already like kind of put together so that I could do it. If you guys want to join in, please do. I don't think there's very many of us um, participating in it. Like, I don't even know if there's anybody but me um, and the two hosts, to be honest, because I've not had time to look at the, to follow the prompt and see if anybody else is participating. Hopefully they are. This one's not as um, because I didn't use any. I use a lot of ribbon. <laughs> I may find some other stuff and stick it down. But at the end of the of the series, I will do a flip through and let y'all see everything again. So if I added anything to it, you'll be able to see. Um, but it's more so about just kind of relaxing in, in the word and um, kind of being creative with it more so than like making it pretty. Um, but I like to make it pretty. So when I go back and look at it, let me make sure I didn't leave anything out. Where's my paper? Okay, so I got the white, the copper, the paint, the book page. Yep, that's everything. 
the scripture. And I do kind of like how I'm not so crazy about that. So I may cover that part up with some like some ribbon. But I do like the splashes of the copper metallic paint on the verse. I do like that. Maybe I should have put some over here too, but it's okay. I like it. But anyway, please follow that hashtag, you guys. Hashtag Faith Field Collaging um, 2024. And follow um, the hosts um, as well. Because um, everybody, in, you know, I say this every time. Everybody interprets differently. Everybody collages differently. Because, you know, everybody has different supplies. Oh, I did forget to do my my little my little stamp so this is april i was supposed to do it on april 3rd but i'm gonna do it on the day i'm doing it which is the 28th <laughs> and i'm just gonna pop it down here because i'm i think i'm gonna put some ribbon up there so there we go so the next one will be may 1st hopefully i will um do it on time this time and then next week um i was going to try to do um some jelly plate stuff this week and i have something else i want to show you guys but i was not able to get to it um because it was i had a lot going on this week um so i'm hoping to be able to get to that next week so stay y'all stay tuned for that and i will see you in the next one and remember do something every day that will inch you closer to a better tomorrow Bye, y'all.